It's hardly going to turn her on. But I didn't recognise you in that new gear. Oh, well, thing is, I'm here on behalf of the Cadbury brothers to make sure that the uh, Bourneville Trust policies are upheld. Well, I didn't think that Rosina would fancy me as a lord, so I described myself as a student. So, here I am. I give you Lindoro. Ta-da! Oh, by the way, have you seen her this morning? Oh, no, sir. Oh, damn it. Almost daylight and no response. We can't carry on like this, otherwise the neighbours will complain. Oh, look, just pay them off and get rid of them. Yes, sir. By the way, where did they come from? Oh, they're rejects from the conservatoire. <laughs> I found them busking in Cannon Hill Park. <laughs> but I'm still trying to form a band with me as lead singer. I'm going to go on tour and leave Dr. Hart alone. And I'll soon become famous. Oh. Well, I'm going to stay around here, see if Rosina appears. Oh, damn it. Not another musician. I'll hide. One at a time, one at a time, one at a time. 
to the stars, money in my pocket, confidant to the aristocracy, perhaps a career in showbiz. Susanna and I do make a good team, but I must be getting back to my salon. I've got Lenny Henry booked in at nine o'clock. I know him. That's Figaro the barber that he used to work for me. Ah, good God! You're Robin? Keep your voice down. I am here incognito. I'm here to make sure that the uh, Bourneville Trust policies are upheld. Of course. I'll leave you to it. No, no, no. Wait. Actually, your being here could be uh, quite uh, opportune, but you're looking very uh, prosperous at the moment, Figaro. Can I trust you? <laughs> oh, well, of course. However, I am having some problems myself. Hmm. A woman, no doubt. You always were a philanderer. But always discreet. So, what brings you to this part of Bourneville today? Oh, well, I'll tell you. The other night, I was at the Mac in Birmingham. Ooh. And I happened to see this girl. And she, I think she is the daughter of a certain Dr. Bartolow who lives around here. Oh, she's absolutely ravishing. And I must talk to her. But I must convince her that she wants me as much as I want her. Well, you're in luck, my fine friend, because I am the hairdresser to that household and I know everything that goes on behind those doors. In fact, I almost run the joint. I do also have an ulterior motive for keeping well in, because I really fancy that Susanna. She's, she's the companion to Rosina, you know. But anyway, the one woman that you fancy is not the daughter of Dr. Bartholomew. She's in fact his ward. A long time ago, she unfortunately lost her parents and inherited a small fortune. Bartholomew would love to get his hands on that fortune, not to mention get his hands on Rosina. Well, it seems like your position in that household could be of some use, but... Look, there's Rosina. She's appeared at the window. She has a note in her hand. She's thrown it down. Quick, we must get it before Dr. Bartolo sees it. Quickly, I hear someone coming. Ah! I'll be back in a few moments. Don't let anyone in. And if Brazil arrives, tell him to wait outside. I must get a move on and marry Rosina quickly before someone else proposes to her. Oh, she is so attractive and the money will be a bonus. I know. I think I'll get Brazil to find a lawyer to draw up the marriage contract. Quick! Let's read the letter. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm very attracted by your serenading and would like to know more about you. Get you. Please help me to find a way for us to meet. I will do everything I can to escape from my tyrannical guardian who wants to marry me himself. I look forward to you reply with great pleasure. Oh, Rosina. So. He wants to marry her himself, does he? But how are we going to get into that house? There's a lot that we could do. Um, I guess you could always try serenading her with this guitar here. But choose your words carefully. Well, give it a go.
into the room. But, well, how are we going to get back inside that house? God, you've got it bad, ain't ya? But it does appear that she retains her affections. All right, all right, I guess I'll help you out. Well, it's going to take all your cunning and imagination. I think you'll find it'll take a little bit more than imagination. Oh, don't worry. You'll get paid. <coughs> That'll do. Now, how to win her affection. Call me Baldrick, because I have a cunning plan. <laughs> we will disguise you as a soldier. One of the, uh, the lancers who are billeted in the area will make sure that a military order assigns you to Dr. Bartholomew's house, and when you get there, you must act like a drunkard. Because no one's going to suspect a fool on a drunken spree of any ulterior motive. <gasps> oh, I'm a genius. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Well, it does seem like a cunning plan. At the merest thought of money, that delightful, almighty metal. Like Vesuvius erupts when it is hot, yes, my prodigious brain explodes upon the spot, yes, and my fertile mind is wildly seen in bubbling like a kettle when it is teeming
I propose that we disguise you. For example, as a soldier. As a soldier. Yes, precisely. As a soldier. But tell me why. Tell me why. Tell me why. Or one bill will soon be harming for a regiment is harming. And I know the colonel well. Yes, I know the colonel well. That will help. Very good. It's simple. I am military order. Will be quartered in that house. Do you see? Do you get it? Can you see what I am up to? I'm a genius. 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 What a genius! What a genius! I'm a genius. Blah 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 blah. What a brilliant man! Yes, yes. What a genius! What a genius! Oh, will be ready. You will not. 
not fail me. I'm ordered to serve you. Oh, God bless you, Figaro. I gave my promise. I will be bringing parts overflowing. Plenty of money, but first you must earn it. You can depend on me. I gave my word. We will succeed. I gave my word. How it delights me with lots of money. How it delights me with lots of money. How it delights me with lots of money. Money controls me. Money allures me. Mightily, mightily, mightily controls me. Money allures me. Mightily, 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 Oh! 
to do with this. Now, Basil will be coming any moment now, and I'm going to talk to him and ask him about the contract. I'm just going to go and find him. Excuse me. Basil. Basil, now listen to me. I must marry Rosina before tomorrow, or I fear that I will lose her to some other suitor. She's planning something, Figaro, and we must use force if necessary. 
How can I, Vazir from Sivir, help you? Well, here's the problem. That political Lothario, Lord Robin Goodleaf, has been seen around here, and I believe he's after her. True, he, she has rejected him because he's too posh. But I know that he'll find a way of worming his way into her affections. And into her interests. <laughs> <laughs> But people are saying she prefers a bit of rum. <laughs> she even has a soft spot for that rogue Figaro. She does. We must be very discreet and invent a story that will totally ruin Lord Robin's reputation. Perhaps say he has been involved in a scandal. Give me a few days and you shall see he'll be thrown out of town and that will put pay to his ambitions in the House of Lords. But we will get sued for slander if we're caught. I have my methods, and they are foolproof. Have you ever thought of what starts a scandal? I uh, not really. Then listen, and I'll tell you. <laughs> Sleep. 
they might work, but I haven't got time for all that sort of thing. Oh, please yourself, so long as he pays me. Once I am married to Regina, mm -hmm. then everything will be fine. So come, let's get this contract signed. I heard all of that. Oh. The old fool wants to marry Rosina himself. <laughs> Not a chance. I'll tell her all about it when she gets back here. Ah, oh, Rosina! Your guardian wishes to marry you by tomorrow evening. You must be joking! They're planning it as we speak. Well, they can think twice about that. They'll have to get through me first. <laughs> but tell me, who were you speaking to just this morning outside the house? Outside? Who I was talking to was a person called Lindoro, a, a lovely student um, who has recently finished his studies and is hoping to find a career that will bring him lots of cash. Ooh, well, I'm sure he'll be very successful. I wouldn't be so sure. He's recently fallen in love and it's kind of distracting. Well, that's very interesting to me. Does she live near here? She's about two steps away. Is she pretty? Oh, absolutely. Uh, she's got lovely uh, dark hair, uh, gorgeous eyes, a beautiful complexion, and a, uh, a deliciously curvy figure. What's her name? I'll spell it for you. <clears throat> ah. Will you 
do it. No, cannot. Don't be bashful. I don't dare to. It's so easy. I live in Paris. Why on earth? Tell me why. Say why. Waste no time and write the letter. It so happens that it is done. So she's in. Arrest. Ah, my stupid. Ah, my stupid. What an idiot I have been. How my happy heart beats first. I am overcome with joy. I confess she is my master when she looks so sweet. these papers they've been messed with. There were six sheets and now there are only five. What have you been writing? Actually I used one to wrap a little present. And is that blood on your finger? Uh, yes! I pricked my finger because I was sewing on a button. Enough of your lies! Now listen to me!
let her blood. Now I want to know the answer. What has happened to the papers? No crying or complaining. No, your pouting will not help you. No, your hair, you can't see me. Never fear. Soldier who's been on the town all night. What do you want? And a very good day to you, sir. <laughs> and what are you doing here? Ah, uh, no. Uh, you must be uh, Dr. Barbaro. Barbaro? Barbaro? Who the devil's that? It's Bartolo. Huh? Bartolo. Uh, uh, oh, right. Oh, Dr. Barlow. Uh, it's Bartolo, sir. It's Bartolo. Barlow. Bravissimo. Bartolo. Barlocco. Baracco. Uh, ah, I'm, 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 be, I'm beginning to lose my... Uh, no, no, no. I must stay calm. I wonder where Rosina is. I can't wait to see her. Now then, sir. You or the doctor? <laughs> then... We are colleagues. I am chief vet to the Lancers, and I have orders to be to you. And I have orders which exempt me from billeting soldiers. Soldier? Am I guardian? See her at last. He's coming to me. It's me, Lindoro. Adoring, forever imploring. I must be calm. And, and what are you still doing here? Leave at once. Do not shout. I was just going. And I'm going to. And where do you think you're going? To me room. Oh, no you're not. You're not staying in my house. I don't have to billet soldiers. Nobody does nowadays. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Out of my house. This is where I am billeted. <laughs> and this is where I'll stay. Out of my house. Oh. <laughs> you want to back it? Very well then. Here is the trench up. And you are my enemy. But I need to get me weapon first. Here, take this. Uh, what's that? Uh, give me that. Give me that. Give me that paper. Come along. Come along. Come along. 
Give me that paper. Give it to me. It's Give it to me. It's just a shopping list. Oh, a shopping list, you say? We'll see about that. <laughs> a jar of moisturising cream, body lotion, mascara. Why do you want these things? Well, because I'm worth it. <laughs> oh, well, it, it does seem as if I might have made a mistake. It does seem to be a shopping list. It's very confusing. I don't know about you, but I don't really know what's going on here. See? Yow, we're young. So, tobacco? I think you better remove your glasses first. Oh, yes, yes, they cost me a, a few hundred. Yes, I do. Right, thank you. Very much. Right. Ah, right, come on then, sir. Let's see what you made of. Oh, oh. No, you're not such a man, are you? Come on up. Oh, you bought a friend, have you? Come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh, yes, come on. Here we go. He's bewildered and befuddled. I've caught him in my neck. Oh, 
Say what happened here and now. Who has started this commotion? Who began this awful row? Who is guilty and why and where and how?
myself to Thank you. 